You're an RC addict. Okay, this is in response to a question I saw on a Joshua Bardwell video. A guy asked, how do the guys float down, okay? So out of a split S or out of a power loop. Now, a lot of it is skill. A lot of it is um, hovering the throttle. But a lot of it is dynamic idle. Now, I'm going to make this really, really, really quick, yeah? Right, explanation. Right, if I got this drone, okay, because they're fixed pitch propellers, if I got this drone, don't do this, please, and put it outside a car window, what would happen? The blades would start spinning up, yeah, backwards, not the rotation of the motor because the blades are the wrong way around. So if I was to hold it out, get the blooming telly out of the way. If I was to hold it there, now, now my cooker's in the way and that's old. Oh God, what's happening? Anyway, if I was to hold this drone out, out there, so basically imitating the falling through free air, yeah? What actually happens is the props start up the wrong way yeah just like if you got it out the little like flat like that and out the side of a car window it would start the props off just like i can't do it on these because these motors are they're, they're the t motors and they're you know that they're, they're like really thick uh near denium magnets uh the near the near denium near de, the near denium the neodymium magnets are very, very strong. Now, the problem is, is if you put too much dynamic idle to stop it falling, when you go inverted, it wants to pull you down. All right. OK, so you've got to get it just nice. Now, when you set dynamic idle, it's normally 35 that comes up. So... Dynamic idle is active at 3,500 RPM, okay? 35. Right, that's not always 3,500 RPM. It's, you know, different size blades, um, different size speed, tip speed. Anyway, so in your question, right, get that dynamic idle and just go into your room, yeah, and basically... Notch it up like 35, 36. This is, for, this is a 3.5 inch drone. It's quite heavy. And I have got this set at 42. 42 comes down and you'll be able to feel it. Yeah, you'll be able to feel it. You know, like when you do a pitch, you do a punch like that. You'll, like, you'll be able to feel it coming down slower. Yeah, I hope that made sense. It should do because it's pretty simple. But go into dynamic idle. You do need bi-directional D-shot enabled. Okay. And it will enable it normally at 35. Okay. So literally bump it up. But remember what I said. The windmill effect. Uh, in heli terms, uh, we actually call it an auto-rotation. You know, so basically... Uh, in heli blades, heli blades are, are flat, yeah, and you alter the pitch with your collective, right? And you always have a bit of negative pitch on a real helicopter because obviously when you stick to the ground, you want to stick to the ground. You don't want to be like just floating kind of thing on the top of a mountain while your troops are coming out or whatever, yeah? But an auto rotation, what they do is they cut the, they have to practice this and, and the, they cut the blades, the blades stop. And what they do is they go into a dive, they put negative pitch in, which is what you're doing when you're putting your drone out the side of the car window. And they put negative pitch and it restarts the blades and then they pull up at the last second and land. RC Addict. Take care.